guys, I'm working on a really fun project today and um, we're gonna actually bring you along for kind of a behind the scenes look at it because um, this is gonna be a little bit different. I'm putting together a container arrangement for a magazine called Green Profit and they're doing a container series where they've asked a bunch of different designers to put together containers and then kind of break them down and you know show the container what size it is and show what kind of plants you use. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit of an illusion. Uh, I'm gonna be cheating a little bit because this needs to look like it's been growing for a while and obviously it hasn't been. So I'm gonna be using a ton of plants. But the idea is to show you just some really pretty things that go together and what it could look like um, if you chose some of these things. So the magazine Green Profit is actually a really big magazine in the gardening industry. I was really excited when they contacted us um, and asked to, us to do this because this is something I've seen on my dad's desk for years. He's been reading them forever. They go out to um, lots of different retailers, nursery owners, and my parents own the nursery that I work at. Um, so I'm not going to even tell him that I'm doing this and then maybe when he opens it up he'll see my arrangement and be surprised. So anyway, um, that's the goal for today and I'm just going to kind of show you some of the stuff that we don't show you in our other videos because we speed everything up and a lot gets left out. So we do get a lot of questions like, um, for instance, I've already filled the pot almost all the way with soil. I think I've got maybe a three inch lip here. Um, it's like three inches below the, the surface and I've got more standing by. I just use Proven Winners, their all-purpose potting mix. And I'm gonna start with three things in the back here. This is gonna be backed up against a wall. So I'm gonna put the centerpiece toward the back. And I was a little bit, I didn't know whether or not I should do one big centerpiece with some stuff on the side and some stuff spilling over or if I should go with something a little bit more wide. So I actually brought a ton of plants home. I have a whole bunch in the garage because last night I was just kind of staring at them all like, wondering what I should do. So this is the direction I went. I'm gonna start with some Carly Rose Penicetum, which is actually a perennial Penicetum. Beautiful grass, they're a zone five, hardy to negative 20, with really pretty pink plumes on the top. Um, so I'm gonna line three of them up in the back here. This is the part you guys don't get to see very often. Like when I take it out of its can, I really give the root system on some things a really good rough up. Just break that root memory a little bit. I get called out all the time for not doing this, but I actually do, we just don't show it. I'm gonna be talking through grass the rest of this video. Feels good to sit down though for one of these. I'm always um, standing, it feels like. This one already looks pretty good. And my third one. And I shouldn't have wore white. This is why I don't wear white. I'm such a mess all the time. I look like pig pen. Okay, already pretty, don't you think? I mean, this, this color of plume goes perfectly with this pot. And you guys, I've been looking at this pot all season and I've really, really wanted to buy it. And I really haven't had a good reason to until now. So I'm super excited that I have this pot now. Before I get this thing too full of plants, this container is 24 inches wide and 12 inches deep. And it came from the nursery where I work, and that's where I get the bulk of my containers. We get them in from a lot of different wholesalers, so always check with your local nursery. Usually they'll have a really good supply of pretty pottery. So the next layer down, I'm gonna use a couple of coleus. These are called Royal Glissade, and I love the color because they go well with the grass and really well with the container. And uh, how am I gonna do this? It is so hard planting from behind. I just want you all to know that. We do this for almost every container, and oh my goodness, I, it makes me so nervous that my stuff's not gonna turn out. It's pretty good. One more. I really wanted three or four of these coleus, and we only had two down at the nursery, and I went everywhere in town this morning. I think that was five places, right, Erin, that sell plants in our town. I went everywhere, nobody had any, I was so bummed. I think we'll make do with these. Okay, so for the next plant, I'm gonna use some Diamond Frost Euphorbia. Love this plant because it gets nice and bushy, but it's not super weighty. It's really kind of light and airy, and it incorporates really well in containers. So I'm gonna put one right in the front, in the middle, and then a couple on the sides. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start from the center, and I'm gonna work to the side, so that way I don't have to reach over this one. So my first Diamond Frost Euphorbia is there, and then I'm gonna start in with a little bit of Creeping Jenny. And I'm gonna be poking just, this is a six pack, so they're like nice little root balls. I'm just gonna be putting one every, probably every other plant. First one. 
It's such a pretty drape. I just love Creeping Jenny. Okay, I'm gonna make a nice deep hole for the next plant, which is the Super Bell's Coralina. Look how pretty that is. I think it's gorgeous with this coleus because the eye, the center of the flower is dark, kind of like the leaf on the coleus. Okay, this is the part where I'm gonna cheat. So usually super bells, you know, you give them just even a few weeks and they just get huge in the containers. So in this spot right here, I would only need one, but I'm gonna smush two together so that it looks like it's been growing a little bit longer. And when we're all done and we have our picture for the magazine, I'm gonna be deconstructing and pulling a few things out so that things will be healthy and they have room to grow. See, doesn't that look so much prettier? Looking like it's been growing for a while. Okay, another Creeping Jenny. You guys, I have the most gorgeous ornamental pepper plants. And that's the, the other thing about this arrangement. I think this is gonna be in their August issue. So I want it to look a little bit fallish. I want it to feel warm. Um, still look like a pretty summer container arrangement that would do great throughout the summer months, but something that could also take you through fall. Um, ornamental peppers is something I probably wouldn't put in a summer container, but they look so pretty in fall containers. So I'm gonna tuck a few of them in. So for spring and fall arrangements, you can typically get away with putting together, like putting a whole bunch more stuff together um, because it's so cool that they don't grow as quickly as they do in the summertime. Um, so that's why I just cram them. I mean, I just cram them full in the spring and the fall and they do just great. When I do summer plantings, I always make sure that there's a lot more room. And right now it's only June. So the peppers and then the caliber, extra calabricoas are gonna be coming out here as soon as we're done. The last Diamond Frost Euphorbia. And one more Super Bells. And I think I pretty much got it. Okay, now I'm gonna come around the front and take a look and I might need to adjust things just a little bit. I had room for one more Super Bells right back here. I think everything about this planter is just gorgeous. The planter itself is pretty with no plants in it. Um, these grasses are beautiful. I used um, the Royal Glissade Coleus, um, Super Bell's Coralina, the beautiful ornamental peppers. Uh, again, I did cheat. Uh, I put way more plants in here than I normally would just because we are trying to make it look like it's been grown for a while. Um, so if I were to do this as a fall container, I would still use three grasses. I would use four ornamental peppers, two coleus, I would only use four of the super bells. So one, two, three, four, instead of putting two right in here. I would use still the three diamond frost euphorbias and then uh, six of the creeping jennies. And those were in a six pack, so they were little root balls. Um, in the fall, again, you can get away with uh, having a lot more put together in a container. Spring as well, because it's a lot cooler, plants don't need as much room to grow. In the summertime, you would need a lot less plants in this container for them to be happy throughout the summer months. I hope that you guys enjoyed kind of a little bit of a slower paced video. I, I know that's probably a ton of talk, lots of talking, lots of words. This is why we don't do it for every single video because they would be so long every time and you guys would be so sick of me. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye. You guys, we were just getting ready to film, but look at what is going on in the distance. That is not very far from us. So it looks like we are in for it, which means all of our projects have to wait. So I get to go inside and maybe unpack some boxes. Ooh. Thunder.